This is Kai at the Thrifting Channel. I'm the only reseller I know that starts their video off with a jam, with a, with a jam, with a dance. Welcome back to the channel. And if you've never been here before, welcome back to the channel. I don't meet strangers. So there's a reason why you're here. Uh, thank you for joining me. So today's haul, I had to decide whether or not I was gonna make it like this really big haul or I was gonna break it up in a little bit. I think I'll break it up in a little bits for you, but I will film them all at once. So I will be wearing the same thing. <laughs> I will have all my same apron. You guys know why I wear aprons because they have pockets where I keep tape measures. I swear the tape measure universe knows me because I lose these things often are used to now that I have a t um, apron. I don't. So, I went to the thrift store yesterday, which was April the 2nd, and I already filmed this video, but have to do it again because of sound quality issues. So I hope that all works well this time with the sound. Um, I think my phones are just not even going to, I'm not even going to try and film on my phones. I have two and um, they're fairly new phones and they give me issues. So I really need something more heavy duty. To, to do this with, but uh, this is working for me. Actually, I can see myself really well. I, you know, um, I just hope that the sound is coming out well. Uh, things I didn't think about in high school. Take audio visual class. <laughs> okay, so uh, upon arriving at this thrift store yesterday, I um, was there looking for the sale color of the week, which happened to be orange, strangely enough. And when uh, being there a while, I ran into someone else who was piling their cart up and very nice young lady. I, I just watched and I, I kind of stepped over and I asked her if she was a reseller. Um, she said, yes, um, but I, from what I gathered, it's not usually Poshmark and she has some other ways, you know, to sell her things, which is awesome. Clap applause for all of us resellers who make it happen. So, um, she was not interested in shoes when I, because we were talking for a little while. She was very sweet. Um, when the lady said that they were going to bring out shoes, I, went to her and I said, they're bringing out shoes. And she's like, well, I really don't know shoe brands, which is fine. I mean, I remember there was a point in time where I didn't understand which shoes to buy either. And sometimes I still don't. So it's not, it's not once you get the knowledge, you retain it forever or, you know, brand new brands come old brands go. So, uh, so I went over to the shoes, which I have here again next to me, and I will show you those shoes. Um, and I hope that, uh, if you don't recognize some of the brands that I talk about, that you take note of them, I'm sure you will. I don't think I have anything out of the ordinary today, shoe wise, but I, sh I want to share a 30 second story with you. So I was, I, I was on my computer early this morning and I tapped a button. Somehow it went to, I guess I may have done a search at one point for most expensive things that sold online. So this happened to pop up. It was grailed. It was like the most expensive thing. And there were brands of jeans that sold that I've never even heard of. And these brands of jeans sold for six, 7,000 a pair. And I often wonder, did I throw something like that back at the bins or leave it on the rack at a thrift store? You just never know. So kind of piggybacking on not knowing brands, know your brands, get to know them one by one, one by one. The, the, the small amount of knowledge that I have acquired about brands has, I've accumulated over the past seven or no six. I've been on Poshmark specifically since uh, 2017. So that amount of time, you do get get to know brands. You watch videos and see other resellers talk about brands. So on that note, the brands that I have for shoes are more common than the ones that I have in the clothing. So stay tuned for that clothing haul, which is this and another bag. 
that I have in my flat. <laughs> my arms, I got my grandma's little arms. Um, so yeah, we'll do the shoes first, clothes second, two separate videos, and you can take your time watching them. Um, so let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. Okay. So the first thing is not a pair of shoes. We're gonna show also at the thrift, the lady, one of the ladies, I guess she caught wind of us just kind of chit chatting. She never said anything about, do you guys resell or what do you do? One of the staff, nice lady. She just said, you guys want to peek at the purses. Here's the cart of purses, freshly picked. So off the top, I picked up this Adidas. Um, looks like a lunch bag of some sort or a tote. No, it's just an Adidas tote. So it's got the handle here, canvas, got these handles here. Thought it was cute. Inside's clean. And definitely wasn't going to leave this one behind. But yeah, really nice, pretty. Happens to be in the Poshmark uh, burgundy color too. Adidas. Cute. Back is plain. So I thought that was adorable. I loved this one too, so I got it. I've never heard of this brand before. Anantara, Anantara, Anantara. Can you see that? There you go. Um, when you look up Anantara, nothing like this comes up. So I don't know, I have no background on this one whatsoever, zero. This is an Anantara. It says re, on the tag on the inside, it says recycled um, materials. So this must have been recycled jute or jute or like burlap bags to create this nice backpack, which I thought was adorable. And look, there's a K for me. I think that's so cute. Really cute. So, um, yeah, I, you know those burlap sacks you see? that have rice and other, you know, things that need to stay dry in them. This is made out of that. And that's the tag. So yeah, I mean, again, I know nothing about it. It has wooden um, buttons here, two pockets on either side, one on either side. But it's just really cute and adorable. It's lined in there. Feels like a cotton lining and super clean super clean. I mean, it's hard to, it's really a big bag. So, but you can tell it's clean. And then it has these, uh, it's really nice drawstring here. Let's draw it at the top. And <laughs> that is, that's the bag. I, I just thought it was so cute. Very earth friendly to recycle with such pretty colors too. Nice. Really pretty. Really pretty. So that's that. I would say this is about what the size of those 15 inch backpacks you see kids carry. Nice. Okay. Now, um, the next thing I'm going to show you is something I did show on Instagram yesterday. And I do have it listed now. I finally did find the exact name and brand and style of this purse. I know, shoes, purse. We're going to do the purse first. So this is a Dooney and Burke. Dooney and Burke. And it's got the Dooney and Burke little logo on the front there. And it's a, called a mini Serengeti mini bag. I, I put the name, actual name in the listing on Poshmark. But there it is. And the only thing wrong with this bag, I mean, because it is spot, it's spotless, spotless, spotless. The only thing wrong, there's three pockets at the top. I'll tell you what's wrong in a sec. There. There are no scratches, no dings, no nothing. I don't know if it was even carried. Flat bottom. There's five feet, all intact. Dooney and Burke comes with the attachable to make it a um, crossbody. Uh, let's see. And 
It's cute. I love that cherry red with the brown and the uh, cream. There it is as a crossbody. There. Um, the only thing wrong with this is that it's been in someone's closet for a while. And I can smell it. That's it. I can smell it. Um, I have some other, I have a pair of fry boots that have, are, have been airing out for, ooh, like three months and they still smell like someone's closet too. But now it's so faint. Um, I didn't want to put anything in or on this because I'm nervous. I don't want to ruin that perfect red finish on the canvas on the inside to remove the closet odor i will I, I did put that in my listings i was like look guys this was barely carried but it does have an it does have a scent packed away scent you know what can you do perfect condition but i hope i would like to find a way to get rid of that smell i don't want to spray any chemicals i want it to be a natural way i haven't found one it has to be a natural way to remove the scent. It has to be something that won't damage the purse. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So I just put it in the listing that it has that scent. But onto shoes. The first pair are these beautiful torrid heels, wedges. Beautiful, beautiful. And they are new with tags now this is the color of the day it was orange to get half off of these so heels were heels are like 12.99 i think they are 12.99 so half and then they're new with tags there's the tags still there but you can tell that they've been tried on there's a little bit of wear here a little bit of wear from being tried on but that's them they're size nine size nine Torrid. Nice. Originally 50, 49. God, it's so teeny on there. I think 50 or no, 48. I guess. <laughs> it's so tiny. Okay. There they are. Currently listed on Poshmark. And oh. Uh, they're on Poshmark listed for half of the asking price. They're at 29 And let's see. Where are my other shoes? My goodness. Oh, I can't find my other tour shoes. Did I even bring them in? I don't even know. Um, darn it, darn it. Let me take a small break and see if I can find this other pair of tour shoes I was going to bring in to show you guys because they're really cute. And I also have those listed on Poshmark and they are a wide width. Um, they are so perfect for spring. I can definitely see someone rocking these for spring for a nice um, outdoor event. So we'll take a small break and I will go get those shoes and I will be right back. Here they are, I got them. So I forgot to bring them from the other room. I ran in there real quick and got them for you. This is a, they call them nude. This is a cream tan. They look lighter on camera than they are here. So this is them. They have a really beautiful cap toe. That's black. This is, this is darker. Okay, look, guys, you see this? This is darker. Let me see if I can show you with the camera with the uh, light off what they look like okay i'm going to turn the light away so maybe you can see the real color 
No, they still look lighter. Okay, so they're more. It's more of a tan, so you know, than uh, than a than a cream. But nonetheless, they're brand new with tags. Brand new with tags. Now this one I can read a little bit better. These were looks like 62. But the print is so teeny, guys. My eyes. <laughs> my eyes. Um, but they're nine and a half wide width. Nonetheless, they're 29 listed right now on my Poshmark in my Poshmark closet. Aren't they cute? They're very cute. For me, the chunky heel. I love that heel. I know I can, it'll hold my butt up. That's, that's why I like it. That is why I like it. Oh, and you know what? When I got these, I can't imagine how, what they've been through. And they've still retained, like, barely any marks or anything like that. They've got one tiny little blemish. Can you see it right there on the side? Right there. It's showing up. I don't even see it on camera. But it's, in real life, you can see it. Um, but they're, they're amazing. Really pretty. Nine and a half wide width. Okay. Next. I'm debating on keeping these. I'm debating. I think I might keep them. These are just a simple pair of Skechers. Brand new without tags. There's the, uh, they've never been worn. Um, like those little loafer things. But the what I like about them is like they have the scalloping around the edge there really cute and that um it's kind of lacy looking and it doesn't have um it allows your air your air to breathe your foot to breathe so you know you get some air in your foot so your foot's not all sweaty and you have that nice scalloping there for decoration and then you've got like a lacy look so they are size nine i don't have these listed yet because i might keep them we will see. I don't know. Otherwise, I will I will list them. If I don't keep them, I'll list them today. Okay, next we have another pair of Skechers. This is a men's Bellinger. Bellinger. Um, I don't know how old this style is, but they have the Bellinger 2 out right now. Um, but they're, they're brand new. Never been worn. Look at that. Never been worn. Nice. This is a size 11 in men's, the Bellinger. This is a canvas, but it looks like, it feels like denim, to be honest with you. That to me, it looks like a little bit of a mark, but it actually, I believe, fits in with the entire slightly distressed look of the shoe. Men's size 11, absolutely super soft on the inside padding wise nice soft but firm like it'll really hold your foot but give you nice uh padding but yeah there's that one and of course new without tags i wish i had a box for these these would be nice but no box either there you go men's size 11 okay Thank you, Skechers. Next, we are going to talk about the other pair of shoes that I might keep. I have not tried these on, so either the Skechers or these I'm going to keep. This is a pair of Sperry Topsiders. And, uh, yeah, this is suede. There's some metallic design there. Nice. And some contrast stitching, which I thought it was cute. Also, the padding on the inside is like butter, and I like that too. Um, as well as a slight edge, or I'm sorry, slight wedge, just a teeny weeny little, like half an inch heel, which is nice. But they're cute, and they, they remind me of the Skechers, and I'm just looking for a pair of simple toss-on shoes that I can just wear everywhere, everywhere. So that would might be these. I'll let you guys know what I choose because you'll you'll see it. Whatever I choose will not be listed on Poshmark. So go there. Okay. Next. We have a pair of Mizuno. 
Mizuno. Did I get it right this time? <laughs> I kept saying Mizuni, all these other names. This is a pair of Mizuno volleyball, athletic volleyball sneakers. Um, barely worn, barely worn on the bottom there. And um, the wear though, I wonder if these were just like crushed in a box because they've got wear here. But at the same time, it doesn't look like they were worn. Let's see on the inside. Yeah, it doesn't look like they were worn. See, on, see that there on the insides of the of the foot? Perfect condition. On the sides here, this side and that side, it looked like they might have been like crushed. And there's some scuffing here. But other than that, the shoe itself, I personally don't think it was worn. Or if it was, it wasn't more than two times or so. These are the Mizunos. These are, um, they roughly go for around over 100 for some styles. And they are women's size 7. Women's US size 7. You are a volleyball player or you know someone who is. These are the Wave Hurricane 3, as it says here. Wave Hurricane 3. But I like them. I knew of Mizuno because they they make athletic gear and things like that. So the last pair for this haul are these pair of boots that, um, oh, those, are, those are the Mizuno shoes sticking up. Okay. Um, so these are a pair of vintage. Now, as I've looked online for them, I've only found like two pairs. Um, they're vintage, they're by the brand Sorel. And this is not Sherpa. Sherpa is a fake version of shearing or shearling. This is actual shearling, which is, um, what it's real wool. So, uh, this is 100% pure virgin wool that not only is on the cuff around, but is in the, this tube of the boot. What do they call that? I'm not sure, but it reminds me of a chimney. And then it's on the inside, upper inside of the boot as well. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm wrong. It lines the entire boot. 100% virgin wool lines the entire boot. The bottom, the insoles, as well as the the entire boot on the inside. Now that's a lining for you. Wow. Wow. These are size uh, EU38. Okay, and so um, it says Pisa, P-I-S-A, which is has something to do with this type of sole of the shoe. Um, from my research that I've done, but really nice lace up in the front. And they the 38 is about an eight, seven, seven and a half, eight, but makes me wish I could get my foot into these. No cheating on these guys, there's no zippers. You see, you get your foot in there, it's in there, okay? And warm and cozy. Nice, nice, nice boot. So, of course, there's natural scuffing around the tips here from being worn. You know, they are vintage and, you know, normal wear, normal wear. Still buttery soft leather, really nice, really nice. That's a nice boot. Wow. When I was reaching in there and feeling all that wool, I'm like, oh my God, this is not a cheap boot. This is a staple boot. It's kind of like the ones I showed you before, the Etienne Agnès, where you keep those boots. They will last you forever. And, and they're so nice. They'll never go out of style. I don't care what style changes. They'll never go out of style. On that note, this is Kaya the Thrifting Channel. Thank you for joining me for two days haul. This is part one, and I will be back wearing the same thing in part two. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video.